Hi guys, it's Sebastian, and this is my mid-range budget setup tour. Starting with the brains of the operation, I use the MacBook Pro 14 inch with M1 Pro processing chip. This computer is super powerful and I have no worries while editing in Final Cut Pro. I also have this really cool stand that I can set the laptop in so it's not sitting flat on the desk and it also saves real estate on the desk. And we all know that laptops are known for not having the most ports, so I also have the Thunderbolt 4 Toto dock. It's a pretty good alternative from the Cal Digit coming in at about $220 and I think it has just I think maybe one or two more ports on it. For the monitor I use the AOC 32 inch ultra wide monitor. My only complaint with it is is that it has these red streaks at the bottom which I'm going to have custom painted to be black so they match the aesthetics. And on top of the monitor I have this light bar with a really cool remote that kind of spins around so I can change the uh, the temperature of the light. I also do a bit of gaming, so when I do, I like having a dedicated gaming system. So I use the Xbox S, S, XS. I don't know the exact name of it, but I like using this. So I have a console that uses all of its storage on games and I don't have to worry about cluttering any other device. And we all know that the MacBook Pro is not, you know, used for gaming. For speakers, I use the San Young, San Yoon, San Yun. I don't know, I'm probably totally butchering the name, but I use the Sanyun speakers in white, and I really like them because they have Bluetooth wireless connection. For my keyboard, I use the Apple Magic keyboard with numpad. This thing is so old. It came out in like 2007, but it's still kicking today. I found it at a pawn shop for a really good deal, and I like that it matches. That brings me to my next thing. I use the Apple Magic trackpad version 2. This guy is really awesome, and it just does you know, everything that I want it to because I mainly actually use the trackpad and I barely use my mouse, which that is for more precision based tasks. I also have a Galloway leather desk mat, which is very premium, but it's only about 20 bucks. So it's really nice having a real leather desk mat for a pretty good price. And finally, my desk. The top of the desk is custom made that me and my dad did. We, we bought a piece of wood and then stained it and then finished it. And I think it turned out really, really awesome. But then on the bottom, I have these white IKEA sit stand legs. I don't know the exact name of them, but they're pretty cool. And they come with a crank to make them sit or stand so it's not motorized. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below talking about how your, what your setup is or what you think I should improve on mine.